Hi, my name is Tony Messina, and by putting my ideas and inventions on the internet, I'm documenting that these ideas and inventions originated with me. Okay, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up and use the Easy Quick Lift, how to frame it in if you need to, how to uh, operate it. We've got both a manual winch, I'm going to show you, and an electric winch. So uh, just sit back and relax. I'm going to show you from the ground up all the pieces that come with it. Uh, all right, to demonstrate the lift rigging that I'm going to show you, I had to build a mock-up of the attic. I've got this stand here that's portable. I can wheel this around. And it's simple. It's just you open it up, and you've got a piece of the attic with a pull-down hole. Okay, this, this area right here, is the size of a pull-down door in an attic. And if the pull-down door is attached at this end and the stairs go that way, this section of the pull-down door can be used to bring up various items. Uh, various items that I'm going to show you right now with some of the lift rigging that I manufacture. Okay, here we have the parts for the home version of the Easy Quick Lift. We have the main body that will be erected. We have the winch, the hand crank winch. And over here we have a 30 inch leg, a 40 inch leg, and a two foot adjustable telescoping shaft to vary the height of your boom depending on what you're trying to bring up. Okay, when this is erected, it's universal in its positioning. The boom is always going to put swing over the center leg. The boom will always swing over the center leg. So if you put it this way, it's going to swing here. If you put it this way, it's going to swing this way. If you put it here, it's going to swing that way. If you put it here, it's going to swing that way. It will always swing over the center post of the T. The first thing we'll set up here, we'll go ahead and put our legs on. Take the 30-inch piece, we'll put it on. Now the 40-inch leg. Before you even set your unit up in the spot you're going to have it, you may find that your boards that surround your pull-down door, your boards may be irregular. You may have you may have missing boards in certain spots. And what you may have to do, you may have to go to the hardware and pick up a couple of two by fours and make your own frame. put down two by fours to make your own frame so you can put your unit down properly. If you do this, you're going to want to use your three inch uh, coarse thread sheetrock screws that will go clearly through the two by four into the board that you're going to be anchoring it to. But you can make a, you can shore up a situation with a couple of two by fours so you can set your unit on it. example this situation. If you're in need of using 2x4s, if I screw those 2x4s down with these 3 inch screws, now I can screw this, uh, these legs down. That's exactly the way you'd want to do that if you, didn't, if you had an irregular surface around your door. Your, most, a lot of pull down doors will have missing uh, boards and you'll have to shore things up to make one of these fit. One and a quarter, one and a half inch sheetrock coarse thread screws to anchor this frame. To anchor this to the frame of your uh, pull down hole. Let's 
Sam's going nowhere. Now that it's been screwed to the frame, we're going to put our telescopic piece in. It'll go anywhere from a height of a six foot boom to as short as a four foot boom. We have a manual and we have an electric boom. This happens to be the manual boom. It's a really nice boom. It features a uh, no-spin handle. This handle will not free-spin as you're cranking something up. If you're cranking something up, you can let go of it and it won't just free-spin. So it's really a nice winch. Here's the winch brake. Position the winch where you want it. Tighten your brake. Okay, here we have a four foot boom, four feet high. Okay, and this is your boom at five feet high. And this is your boom at six feet high. Okay, we have three different heights then. We have four feet, five feet, and six feet height. It's going to come with some chain link to a, a, a sling. You're going to be able to put something in it to hoist it up. I'm going to show you that in just a second. This comes with it. Okay, for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to use an 18 gallon tote bucket, tote container. It can be filled with papers or books or clothes. Okay, now if this bucket were filled with something and it was sitting on the ground at the foot of the stairs, you'd be cranking it up. Once you get it up in the attic, loosen your brake, swing your boom over, set it down. Easy as that. positioned on this corner and the boom can work this way. is four feet. I'm going to pick a bucket up as if it was coming from down below through the pull down here. Swivel it over. Lay it down. Take it back. 
back up. Boom height, four feet high here. Okay, here the boom height is five feet. So we're using the electric winch to pick up this bucket, but if you needed it, you could use the winch at a higher boom height to pick up water heaters that are in your attic. If you have a water heater that needs to be changed out, it'll be easier to get it up and down with the winch. But here again, I'm showing you using the bucket here with a higher boom height from operation of it. electric winch. 